What is the meaning of Job? Uh, no, 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 no. I just have to go look on the um thing. But what's up, super silent man? Hopefully you're not silent with us, brother. How you doing? Doing good, guys. Good to see you. Uh, shout out Pastor Josh. Shout out Jadeon and uh the general voice chat, man. They're working miracles over there all the time. Uh, stop in over there anytime, bro. I'll praise it. It's been pretty cool just persecuted. It does mean persecuted. Yeah. Y'all can see it on the screen. <laughs> um, I came in yesterday kind of talking about uh turning the other cheek and vengeance, and that was the word we were talking about today, and that's kind of the general conversation we held through with uh the voice chat and stuff today, which was really interesting and it's good to see that and reaffirming. Um my question's kind of rhetorical because I know we're about it. And, uh, like, I've been through the trenches with God, and uh, I've been having a lot of resistance and stuff. And, uh, like, these people ended up doing what they do to Christians and treating me bad and all that. And I ended up piling up all this information against them, and I'm the guy out there because they hurt my grandfather and one dude out there standing with a sign in a small town where, you know, mm. pretty much the whole place is corrupt, but it ain't stopping me from being out there mm. and trying to uh, fight for my grandfather, my brothers and my sisters in Christ, man, uh, because it hurts me to see so many people get hurt and uh, have stuff happen to other people like it has happened to me and you know we got to stand together and unite because we can't be having that pain in our life when we can stop it and uh the constitution of the united states like gives us that freedom to unite and do all that and be brave and to stand together and that's beautiful that we have that mm -hmm. but uh i mean as far as like my grandfather and stuff goes there's this Thing. it's called m6iim3 and it's this lawyer he's a judge who's a got trialed by the courts and received a charge and his charge case says secret agent of russia so i've been dealing mm. like uh here in chattanooga tennessee uh tennessee's like a uh tax free place so a lot of billionaires are in this area and uh so I've been dealing with like a bunch of corruption that's like high level in government. And my grandfather was a CIA agent and ended up getting, uh, you know, hurt. He's gone now. God bless him. And I know he went to heaven and, uh, um, sorry, but, uh, um, but yeah, he got hurt by these people and, uh, tore our life. These people tore our lives apart for, years until they finally got got us uh i'm broken to pieces like 80 percent of my body's broke up and i've been sick for nine years and i had to i knew it was god's it's been god's process the whole time like i've had to learn really hard lessons and i asked god for a hard life and uh like i had to watch people i love that i wanted that i still want to bring to heaven with me like hurt me and do things that uh they don't they're not they're, no one's ever proud of doing bad things and you know uh, i brought some of those people to heaven and stuff but i've just been absolutely left in the in the dumps like i can't even work or do nothing my 66 year old dad's like carrying all the weight and all the stuff i invested into and stuff got destroyed because people don't like seeing a young kid 27 but uh out here trying to make it make a difference in the world and stuff and uh it's been tough bro and uh when i first saw you Jadeon, uh you probably had less than a million subscribers but when the first time i saw you bro i knew there was something in you and like it connected with me and i got that like just go out there and brave the world kind of faith where you know i know there's a little bit of bad stuff in your pranks and stuff like you going out to the mall and singing or going to the target or walmart and like calling people out like i know that part was wrong but when you switch that over to christ like you're doing now and you bring that faith out and you know 
we, we unite together and we start building this power, then it only brings us closer to God. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Yo, brother, man, it sounds like to me, man, you know, you're obviously in the right direction, but it sounds like to me, you got to, it sounds like you're, you're thinking about you carrying the weight, you know, you need, you need the most high father. I gave up on, me. I gave up on that. I'm too sick, man. I can't, I'm, you know, just reaching any outlet I can to try and make a change because I'm, like I said, dead beat, man. Like I got bolts sticking out of my arm from this surgery and stuff right here. I can show you. Like, Ugh. wow, Dang. those are bolts and nuts coming out of my damn arm. And uh, I just, you know, just something for God to give me a challenge with. I gave my friend a car and uh, he bear hugged me and it broke that surgery apart. It was nice and clean and it started sticking bolts right af out after that. It was, it's been what it's been, man. Man, I'm gonna keep you in my pro what's your what's your uh what's your full name, brother? Alex Burke. Uh, all this stuff happened at like I don't care at all. Three zero nine three Swanson Ringle, Georgia, bro. Like these people know dead up. I got documents. I can't get it into court. Like these people are corrupt and they've crushed me straight up. Yes, man. Wow. Brother, How old are you by the way? 27. Oh boy, I thought you were gonna say 22. <laughs> we get a lot of 22. Hey, you be, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. You got some real Christian war wounds. Those are some real war wounds. You sound like how Paul when he was giving his um his testimony about everything he had been through, like how many times he'd been whipped, how many times he'd been stoned, shipwrecked. You got the actual physical, you know, scars to show it, right? And yet. And I want y'all to think about this, man, you know, with Alex, because despite what he's going through and have been through, he's still on here praising Jesus and giving him praise. Right. Amen. A lot of us ain't been through and going through what he's going through right now. And he's still giving God the glory. Or even you know, and, it may, and I'll be the first one to admit it. I'll be the first one to admit it. Christians like him make me feel ashamed of myself sometimes. Because I don't have the troubles that they have, and I get down over little stuff. You know what I mean? Like little stuff, and I'd be like, man, you know, man, it's just too much. And then, you know, somebody like you come along with far worse problems, but you're being strong and being stoic and, you know, trying to stay positive and faithful. It, it makes me, I'm talking about me, for, I can't speak for everybody else, but me, it makes me feel ashamed when I let like the little things get to me and bother me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're a big man, and like you helped me come closer to Christ, and so is Jadeon, and so is Voice Chat, and uh, like everyone's doing God's work here, and it's beautiful. Praise God, brother man. Keep being the inspiration, man. That's what you are. You're an inspiration, man. Pre keep being that, please. Uh, nephew, let me speak to this young man. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Auntie. I hear it in your voice. Hold on, let me get out of uh, Clubhouse. Right. All right, is the echo gone? I never heard an echo, but go ahead. Okay, copy that. Alex, I have been where you have been, and I am there now, especially with the physical ailments, the damage to the body, the years of service. You feel like you're alone. You feel like you have no longer a place or a purpose. You can't do much. You can't escape the pain except to go to sleep. I've been there and I'm there now. This congregation, ABT, has helped me through an awful lot. I have people I call daughters, sons, nephews. They check on me. If I'm sick and they don't hear from me, they check on me, even a text message. Mama, are you okay? They've had to buy me because I could not afford it. Listen to this. A West Pointer. A former commanding officer of over 150 police officers at a time. I had much purpose and much prestige. I was an overachiever. I was authoritative. 
I was also humble. I've seen people die. I've shot people. I have been shot. I've seen people like me that aren't here today. Black female officers, white officers, they're dead, just shot in their units. I don't know why I'm still here today. I ask myself that every day. I can't go out and do what I want. I can't supplement my income. I can't be the high achiever that I was. All I can do is share. God has a purpose for you. Even if it's just to share your burdens and strengthen others. As my nephew said, some have smaller burdens and they complain. There's people like you and me that come up and talk that are still alive, that have not given up, that have not said, God, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm over this. I'm too tired. I have no energy. I have no support system. Even when you feel you have a support system and they're all off and they're doing their jobs and sing to other people, it pricks you. You want to give when you can't give. You want to be a support system when you can't. And I know that is hard. I'm not given my age, but I'm over 55 years old. And I'm still fighting it. And you take it one day at a time. I don't care if you take it one hour at a time. And when you feel like giving up, take a nap. Just take a nap. Refresh yourself. And if you need to, reach out. I'm going to send you a friend request. I know I'm quite old. Go ahead. But I heard you. And I'm here for you. And we can cry together. We can complain and moan. And I hate the world. What am I here for? We can do that together and still be in Christ and still be a testimony to everyone else. You know why? We're warriors. We are not weak. We do not stand down. So sure. I love you. I've heard that in your voice. I will be here for you. And that is the only reason I came up. So I'm going to send you a please request, uh, a friend request. Please accept it, and we will stay in touch. Yes, ma'am. I highly appreciate it, and I've learned a lot of my wisdom from older people. Roger that. Stay strong. I got your six. Thank you, Please nephew. Not. Thank you for your service, Mother Steph. I never knew that. I never knew that. But, um, yo, um, I'm not going to lie. I have to go, but I want to keep the stage open. And um, uh, before I head out, uh, Brother Josh, is it cool if I lead today's prayer? Yeah. And, you know, you guys can stay in here. I'm going to leave the stage open. But uh, you guys can bow your heads. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today humbly. We're sinners. We are nowhere close to the per perfect image that you want us to be, Lord. But you still show us mercy every single day. And you still guide us every single day to get better and closer to you, Lord. And we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, uh, we want to thank Brother Josh for the beautiful sermon he gave today about us just knowing the burdens that we will have on us, the target on the back that we have representing Christ because Christ had a way bigger target on his back, Lord. He came down here from being God to a man and walked among us just to save us from our sins. And we thank you. We thank you, Jesus Christ, for everything you have done and everything that you promised that you will do. Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask and pray for Alex Burke here that every physical ailment that he have, mental, emotional, spiritual, that you heal it in the blood of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. We ask that he stay with us and stay strong, Heavenly Father. We thank you for bringing him over to us, to a congregation where we might not all agree on the same thing, but we do believe in your son, Jesus Christ, and that he died on the cross for our sins, Lord. And we pray that we can help carry his cross the days where he has it hard that one of us can bear his cross, Heavenly Father, because after his testimony and Mother Steph's testimony, it's just clear to see, Lord, that a lot of us, we, we have it good in hindsight. And we need to stop thinking about ourselves and our other brothers and sisters who are really going through it, who really have their cross on the tip and edge where they might almost fall off, Lord, that we can go there and help them because 
even though Alex is going through what he's going through, Heavenly Father, he's still on here giving your name praise and not backing down. And dear Jesus, Lord, we just ask that you bless us throughout the week, that we can continue getting more and more into your word and that you reveal things to us, Lord, that we become more like children every single day. And we give all glory and all honor in your name. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Man, Alex, thank you so much for that. man. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. And I'll still be around. Appreciate you. Appreciate thank you. you. I'm going to send you a friend request. Just sent it over to you. Amen. You know, I don't know what you guys are going through, but 